All right, we're back for Squally Part 10. We're about to head into the pyramid. Last time we saved all the townsfolk uh, from their petrified Medusa state, including this guy over here. And we played a bunch of hexes, like three or it was poss possibly even more than that. Uh, we got Squally some new gear. Look at that drip. It's looking fresh, and we're ready to go. Had to go with the uh, old Robin Hood hat, even though it is aesthetically not my favorite choice. Uh, because it was the best one, and I had to, so. And now that I found out I can bounce on these door frames and waiting for a secret. Oh, what do we got over here without more pots to smash? Whatever those are. Last time we played Guano's pickpocketing was totally broken, and we can't buy gold, so we can't really upgrade gear, but that's my next move is I'm going to try and get, uh, Squalier better sword. Oh, okay. is this another lantern puzzle thing? What do I have to do? Uh, whoa. Did not expect that. Um, somebody over there. It's a little disoriented, I'm not sure exactly where it came out of, but okay. See if this is still broken. It is. It is this. Set wind speed. Okay. An adventurer to open the door to the inner chamber, light the two blue torches. Remove the foul curse that lingers in this place. Okay, I guess we're playing Hexus. Uh, pebble, an add, and a move. Yep, uh, let's... I don't know, sure, why not? Okay, uh, let's play our Demon Haunch, and let's play our Pebble. Then we're going to play one of our items, and we're going to play, uh, let's do a, a move here for our pebble. Then we'll play a Jacob, and I want maybe to save the ad for the pebble. Because I want my demon haunches to get higher and then add it to the pebble. But I don't know how many more uh, rounds we're going to be at this. I'm already at 15. Um, let's play another item. Alright, now I'm feeling like we should probably play the add. And uh, let's play this too. I'm, I'm way ahead of them. I don't know why they were continuing to play, but that's fine. I wanted to make sure that my pebble got beefed for the next round, so I'm starting out with 10, which is all right for me. Oh, and two shift lefts. Come on. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Man, I almost want to play this demon haunches and just shift the hell out of it. Um, so I'm gonna... But I gotta wait, because I have to wait for at least that uh, first one. So we're gonna play the, this guy first. Shift. Shift. Come on, do something. He's got four cards. He could do this. He probably will. Yeah, shit. <laughs> I was so confident. I still got my pebble out, though. Uh, oh, I got a carrot and a move. Uh, damn, but I can't really... I'm going to have to play the carrot and then... Well, I guess we'll see what we get with the carrot. We'll play the carrot first. Demon haunches. Okay. Let's play our demon haunches and then we're going to move our pebble onto the demon haunches. Or we'll use our move to move a zero onto one of his cards. All right, he's out. Yep, there we go. We won. Yeah, he's out of cards. I'm going to do it anyway. Yeah, that's what you get. Don't mess with Squally. I'm all cocky. 
<laughs> Even though I, I lose the game more than I win it. I'm all cocky. Uh, Alright, I cannot... Uh, I cannot activate them from here, it seems. So, uh, it appears we'll go this way because there's an enemy over there. Although there is the wind. Uh, Squally will attack. That guy with the more health, I guess. Reflect. Shift right shifts the bits of a number to the right. By shifting right by one is the same as dividing by... Oh, we already did this one. In other words, this code reduces the damage taken by half. Copy the reduced damage into EBX. This damage will be reflected back to the attacker. Hint, reduce EBX to reduce damage taken and increase ESI to increase the damage dealt. So... Uh, or did we do this one? Thought we did. I'm, I'm forgetting now. Um, yeah. Um, all right. So let's, uh, then we want to shift left to ESI. I two. Uh, did I, is it a one? No, shift to left. And then we want to shift right, uh, EBX. I two. Oh, hold on. I screwed that up. Oh, yeah, it's moving that into there. Um, we actually want to not this part. Right? Yes, we don't want the attacker to take advantage. Oh, it's still. Yes, I am the BX. So, um, I'm thinking this through here. Um, this is a, another thing that they haven't had us do, but um, what we we'll do is um, shave off that damage as we do the move. Let's get this one more. Um, and also, where's my shit after Six. Hopefully, um, increased. Uh, I don't know what that's. Actually, yeah, let's do. Actually, you know what? This is a good time to try one of these guys out. Restores. See, here's the thing. This. And this, this was like slightly fewer materials to craft, but it's only 8%, like it's, the amount of materials that it took, it should restore more than 8%. I'm going to try it anyway, um, see if it's, maybe it's just the description is leaving out the fact that it's 8% over time or something, like it's a tick effect. Oh. Took damage there, so it's to uh, decrease value. The first scan. Okay. Change this value to the try three. That's not it. Uh, 
Yeah, so we still got 3,000. So uh, I'm going to wait and see if we can whittle this down a little bit more. Um, and the guano is going to use one of the other ones. That's it for Smalley. Let's pause this now. And decrease compared to the last scale. It's 351. Whatever the value should be unchanged from the last scale as well. Seven, that's better. Sixty four, fifty six, fifty three, fifty one, fifty one. Last time it was at so it's not this one. Oh no, this one for some reason can't believe these. Let's try this. I don't know if this actually went back or not. Let's just try this too. Doesn't seem like it's the right place, but. Okay. It's one of those. Snap this one, snap this one, snap this one. Okay, um, does not appear to bring Spawny back from the dead, sadly. Let's see. Um, So, I, well, you know what? I, I kind of feel like it doesn't kind of, it kind of doesn't matter. Really so, I'm dying. Ah, so, EBX is a constant with a value of one. ESI is the health of the target. So, essentially, what it's doing is it's keeping them alive, keeping their health at one. No matter what. So, it's just not for death. Yeah, let's get back to it. Oh, but then Squally's, Squally's address changes. Damn it. That tends to be typical in games. It's it's almost as if every instantiation of the player character uh, will reside in a different uh, place in memory. It's not, not as if that is the case. But... Start our scan and uh, we'll be ready for the next time we need it if we indeed need it. Okay. Okay, oh, let's go over here. Okay, 
Did we check this one? I don't think we did. There was something over there, but still, let's go back to where we were and fight these guys. Alright. This reflect thing is still not working as I expected it to. It is just um, it's shift left three places over. All it's doing now is doing the identical amount of damage. Uh, I don't see, yeah, see, and we knocked this, and it still didn't, uh, it didn't help us. It should have. Because the, for getting rid of the move instruction, that sends damage back to the field. So, I am confused as to why that didn't. <laughs> but, if we do take, yeah, see... Here, increase value compared to the first game. We could even say my my success. I, ha I haven't had good success with doing this decreased value by. We know it should decrease by twelve, but for some reason it doesn't seem. Always work the way that it should. So it should be unchanged compared to the last scan. 72. That seems to be settled on. These are out. Let's try changing these. Two. It's nine of those. Let's try. Oops. Let's cast patch here, two of those, let's try to get this patch here, this patch here, Ooh. Yeah, see, this is exactly the problem that I was talking about. Like, just doesn't seem to get good success when it comes to the decreased buy, you know? Which is unfortunate. Okay. Also, the shift left doesn't seem to be working. It's just doubling the damage. Smooth the shift, I guess. I don't know why the map's not working. Oh, yeah, that EBX. Damn, oh, maybe that's... <laughs> Maybe that's what it is. Well, let's, uh, let's try this a different way. Let's try it like that. I, if not, didn't work. I don't see why that would. But maybe it's maybe it's me.
It is possible, but I don't know everything. Let's do it again, see if we get injured. Damn it. Okay. So it has been injured again. Since so will be decreased value compared to the last scan. Four thousand. Exact value eleven. Forty seven. Start at the top. Nope. Last two. No, God. So. <laughs> frustrating. This is frustrating. See how much damage is reflected back at Squally. Zero. Okay. That's better. Right. Uh, we already knocked Undying, and I think it worked. Uh, it set his health to, um, to one right away. I think that's part of the casting. Um, but it shouldn't. So, uh, yeah. Let's uh, see what we had originally here. So it's, instead, I guess, maybe uh, instead of just nopping it, let's do a different trick and actually do the same thing we did uh, last time, which would be um let's do a move on ESI SI negative one. Okay. Um so Sure. Okay. I feel like I should use this. This guy has no special abilities. I guess the idea is just to burn him down. Actually, you know what? I'm going to use a uh, item here so I can try to target down the memory address for Squally's health again. Right, so we were at 11, and now it will have decreased compared to the last scan. And this time, I have 1,500. I'm going to leave it alone, and then we'll just do an increased scan um, when he heals. Oh, he didn't heal because of uh, being knocked back. That's fine. There we go. Increased value compared to the last scan. Down to 283. Some of these are obviously not correct. Uh, this... 
doesn't look correct either. Although that is the value I'm looking for, so I'm going to keep that one. I've got a couple of them here. Looking for a previous of six, right? Yeah. Which I don't see anywhere. You know, it's never that hard to find these. I don't know what's going on. I mean, I know it's me. I'm doing something wrong. Um, but uh, I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing wrong compared to what I normally do. It's not going to be any of these. The last value was uh, was 30, so... Oh, that is it. Okay. Now apparently I'm just not reading Sheet Engine right. Oh, that's right, I did multiple scans. Maybe that's what it was. All right, we got Squally's health. So, uh, and let's start looking for Guano's health while we're at it. New scan values 13. Lucky 13. There it is. 91,000 results. And now it will be a decreased value. Scan 84. Current value is 8. That's enough. That we're going to do. Oh, this might be it right here. Uh, that's not. It's too bad. It, it looked promising anyway. Maybe it's this one. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's this one. There it is. And since I'm going to be building a trainer with Sheet Engine after I get done with this part, whichever part this is. Uh, let's do our next move of uh, looking for Squally's mana. Twenty-four thousand results. And then see Squally's gonna have to use some mana up here, so he's gonna do that. Okay, now it is a decreased value compared to the last scan. 59 from 17 to 11. Could be that one. It's not. It's not that one either. There it is. Oh, look at this. We have uh, Squally's health and Squally's mana very close to each other in memory, which is not atypical. That's the way they generally are. Uh, but that means that uh, all of Squally's information as a character is likely in this general area. So if I browse that, uh, let's see what we've got. State key mana, state key, PT name, pet name, timeline, something about something being collected. So we should uh, we should uh, keep our eyes on this. If there's something else we need to change later, uh, oh, there's an is dead flag. That's why uh, just increasing his health last time didn't bring him back to life because that would be flipped. So if I had flipped that, it would be okay. 
Um, here we have some collected flags and stuff. Just this is just what I'm seeing in the ASPE translation over here. And, uh, you know, uh, I'm also seeing that we have uh, some blocks of data here that's separated, and it looks like save key grades. It looks like we have some variables that seem to be repeated. So these might actually be the memory addresses associated with other actors in the game, other characters. One of them uh, is not Guano, right? Because we looked at... Uh, yeah, Guano is... Yeah, he's, he's close by as well. So, um, yeah, there you go. Uh, so if Squally's mana... If Squally's health is... Oh, now i got to get my, uh, my calculator up here. Let's see. Right, so... That's is that Ninety two bytes apart, so then this. This and then converting that back into hexadecimal. Let's see if All right. Does this make sense? Two one BFC twenty two one BFC. Yes, it does. And also, then if we have an address manually, oops. Address manually. That address it doesn't look right though. I guess that's a float and that value is not at all associated with his mana. So I did something wrong. Um shouldn't have been it shouldn't have been plus. Our wait. Okay, my health is yeah, my health is Squally's health is behind Squally's mana. So either one or self just happens to not be. Or let me check my values and make sure I do something wrong. Uh, let me try that. Comments. That's not big either. That's nothing. Let me actually um, add this to a. Yeah, it's definitely not correct. Well, I'm going to do a search for Guano's mana now, and um, I guess when we find it, not. Uh, all right, um, scan number four. We got a thunderstorm going on here, it sounds like, outside. So um, this part's going to be over with uh, pretty quick, probably after this battle. I'll have to get back to you after. I don't want the power to go out when I'm mid-stream. So, all right, let's get back. 
give me that. That's what I'm going to do. You know, it doesn't matter. Uh, I just realized Guano doesn't have any abilities that use uh, that use mana. How did he even lose mana? Now use your abilities. What? <laughs> okay. Alright. Defeated the uh, mummies there then. And this will be like this one. Okay. Uh, we'll have to do that next part so I can avoid this thunderstorm. So take care. If you two are playing Squally, I hope you're enjoying it as much as I am. Uh, I have no idea how much farther we have left to go. Uh, this has so far already been a longer game than I expected. So maybe we're almost done. Maybe we're not. I don't know. Either way, we'll see you again soon.